Hey there, once again, it's me, Gia La Sala, and welcome to Pageant Talks. And here's part two with the very impactful Nova Stevens showing her very light side <laughs> and less serious side. But for this part of the episode, she's going to discuss to us, you know, how she feels like with a certain global issues with the keyword. So again, guys, um, just so you know, I prepared some topics here on my phone, um, you know, just so that you would know that I'm not making things up. Okay, so, okay, Nova, are you excited to answer keywords? I'm excited. Okay, so number one is, of course, you're advocating for this. Uh, briefly explain Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a movement that involves people of color wanting to be treated and seen as equal. You know, okay. we just want people to see us as they see themselves and right. to treat us fairly. That's it. Wow. I love that. You know, I, I, how I wish that pageant girls would answer it that way too. Like in a very short <laughs> but impactful. Yeah. Okay, great. Number two. Okay, Nova Stevens. Um, xenophobia. What can you say about it? I would say that it is racism or prejudice towards a certain group. Um, I have friends that are from South Africa and the stories that I've heard are just horrendous. So okay. if we can just learn to, again, love one another despite our differences, because when I look at the world, it's like a painting. Mm -hmm. Imagine having two paintings, one that is one color, white, yeah. black, yellow, whatever it is. And then imagine one that's just filled with different kinds of colors. Yeah. To me, that's more beautiful. And I think most would agree that's more beautiful. Yeah. So I would say xenophobia is liking the mundane or you know the status quo, whatever that may be as opposed to seeing the beauty in our differences. Yeah, very good. I love that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay, how about love number three, love and compassion? I think love and compassion go hand in hand. To have compassion means you have love. And to be human to me means having the compassion to feel for other people. So find it in your heart to not only seek love for yourself but for others as well you cannot expect people to love you if you yourself are not expressing love you know it, it's actions speak, speak louder than words so your actions dictate how or what the world will give back to you because if you give love to the world the universe will give you more love the more love you give, the more love you get in return. So always do everything with love, even if people are not giving you love in return, because I believe that love is the greatest conqueror of all. Love will conquer anything and everything. And although we're not there yet, I think we will be there one day where we can truly just love freely. Yeah. Unapologetically. Right. You reap what you sow. So yeah, like you plant, plant love. Mm -hmm. You reap love, yeah, so yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So okay, number four, inequality. What can you say about inequality? I can say a lot about inequality as a black person and as a woman, <laughs> <laughs> but inequality is the idea that someone else or you feel as though you deserve more than your counterparts. Yeah, you know, inequality is the idea that you are superior. Because if you really believe that you are like everyone else, you wouldn't believe in your heart that you deserve to be treated better or differently. Yeah. So inequality in a way to me is, it can be selfish mm -hmm. and it can also be ego driven. You know, our egos oftentimes are the driving factors of, a spewing hate it's your ego telling you that you have to be better than the other person you have to look better you have to sound better you're competing against yourself yeah <laughs> you know you will never win if you compete against other people i can't compete against you or someone else because i can't change anything about you i don't know what you i, I can never beat you yeah. All I can do is improve myself. So if you're going to compete with someone, compete with yourself because at least you can beat that person. 
Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Great, Nova. Thank you for sharing that. Next, uh, I love this number five, biracial or multiracial beauty. What can you say about mm. it? Biracial <laughs> beauty or relationships? Just, just in general? And in general, yeah. Actually, you were already doing well. I mean, you know, you're showing that very light side of yourself. So, <laughs> Okay, so biracial. I think to be biracial is like to be like anyone else. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're any different. I don't think they should be treated any different just because they have different ethnicities. If anything, it's a plus. You you have so many cultures that are a part of you. And as much as we like to think that we are one race or ethnicity, mm-hmm. a lot of us are mixed. A lot of us are biracial without even knowing it. Biracial does not always mean you're half this and half of that, half white, half black, half Asian, half, you know, um, Indian. Like, yeah. I feel like it, it's not always so black and white. Yeah. You know, if we all did 23 in me, a lot of us would realize that, hey, you have African in you. Hey, you have South Asian in you. Hey, you have, you know, Eastern European in you. Yeah. Just because you may not look it genetically, you might have those genes, yeah. right? So I think it's beautiful. And I honestly feel in the next 100 or so years that the world would be all one color <laughs> because we're all <laughs> going to mix. Honestly, I think we're yeah. all just going to mix because we're going to realize that you don't have to be with someone that looks like you. Yeah. Just be with another human being that treats you with kindness and love. That's it. See beyond the color. Yeah, because like I, I would never know. I might be partly African too. So, because I, I, Ab- I love absolutely. Yeah. I feel like Philippines, um, because your skin is usually darker. Yeah, you definitely must have African in you. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's a very huge possibility. Yeah, definitely. Because like our ancestors are Aborigin. Yeah. So and yeah. Aborigines are you know partly African. So yeah, and that's the yeah, reason so. why I love African women. So. What's up, my brother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so number six and the final one is um, freedom. I mean, you can express everything, anything that you can say about freedom. Freedom, freedom, I can breathe. Freedom, okay, freedom. <laughs> freedom to me is just to be yourself. Okay. You know, we all have. It's our basic human right to be whoever we want to be, love whoever we want to be, look like whoever we, want to, whoever we want to be. If I want to be a man, that is my choice. And that's my right. If I want to look like a woman, that is also my choice and my right. You know, you people don't ha- always have to be what you want them to be. Because again, yeah. it's their life. So it's their choice. So freedom right. to me is a freedom, freedom to live life based on your own accord. Okay, great. Yay. So you aced that, Nova. Congratulations. That's like the mm-hmm. uh, the most casual thing that I've done with keywords. Yeah. yeah. Less stiff, less serious. So great. Yeah. Amen. Great. Okay. So now let's do the final round. I only have one. It's not even a question. So let's okay. create a hypothetical situation. You're in the top three and you're mm-hmm. now going to create your final statement, you know, final look with your gown. And then, you know, final, final, final chance to create an impression. What would be your final speech? Do you want to give me a word or do you just want me to just speak? Just speak. I'm a judge. For example, I'm a judge and you're, you're going to convince me that, you know, you should sure. be the next Miss Universe. Yeah. Okay. Standing up here in front of all of you. I see beauty. I see beauty in every single one of you. Not all of you look the same. Not all of you sound the same, but all of you are just as beautiful. This room right here reminds me of the harmony that we need in, in, in our world. You know, we're so divided, but it, it takes certain events and events like these that bring us together. And it's, at the end of the day, it's love. Love is what keeps us together. So if we can go outside and be in the same room as people that you may not even want to be in the same room with as you are today, I think that we can live a better life and create a better future for our future kids and the next generation. It's so easy 
pass judgment. And although we cannot always control our thoughts, we can definitely control our words. So what I want to say to all of you is that before you open your lips, choose to speak with love. Think about what you say to someone and ask yourself, if someone were to say those things about me, would I be okay to hear them? And if the answer is yes, then amazing. But if the answer is no, ask yourself why that is you think it is okay to think those thoughts about someone else, but not of yourself. We all share this planet. It's as much as, as it is my home as it is yours. So let's be great neighbors and treat each other with love and kindness. Come over to my house for a cup of sugar. <laughs> because I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, see, I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, actually, like, I uh, actually love where you're going at. Because, like, you know, um, in, in things like this, like, you know, people, you know, mostly like candidates would be like fighting for something, like they have this cost, but yours is very simple. You know, love is so simple, but it's so complex, but it's so deep and shallow yeah. at the same time, you know, shallow mm -hmm. in the sense that everyone can gain access and like the love of God, it's so deep, but ev everyone can access, have a, an access to it. So yeah, maybe Nova, you know what? I'm so happy that you've shown me this side which nobody else did and it's such a privilege yeah. that um you know that you that you allowed me to to see that yeah. side of you and for the world to see because you know um everyone just paints a picture of you to be like this and that but definitely you're more than that and thank you so much for showing that here with pageant talks and before we end i have two more questions like one more what are you most looking forward to at the pageant, knowing that, you know, we're, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, which I hope to be over really soon? I look forward to it being over. <laughs> 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 no, no, hear me out. You know, I just feel like there's so much anticipation of, you know, preparing yourself to get there. I just wanted to, I just want to be there and have it be over. Yeah. And then, you know, have life continue as usual. But. I also look forward to meeting the girls. All yeah. the girls are so phenomenal, and we've I, we've actually gone closer during the pandemic. We've actually had time to get to know each other. So I yeah. cannot wait to meet my sisters, make all these lifelong friendships, travel the world, and always have a place to stay. And how amazing is that? I will always have a place to stay in wherever I go in the world. Yeah. You know, I go to India, I go to China, like I, Japan, wherever. I will always have a place to stay because yeah. my fellow sister is living there. But but no, I don't want it to be over. You know, Miss Universe is obviously a dream for not only myself, but for all the women that are competing. I just, it's just so surreal, you know, because I remember watching Miss Universe as a young girl and the thought of ever being there has yeah. never crossed my mind up until recent years because I never saw I never saw women that looked like me. Yeah. And for some odd reason, I thought it was a competition for women of, you know, yeah. of that complexion or ethnicities um, with certain features. So I never really ever, I never really thought of, as a young girl, oh, one day I'm going to be in Miss Universe, you know, it was yeah. until as I got older and I started discovering myself. And I said to myself, why can't I be Miss Universe? Right. I mean, why can't I? Just because I don't look like everyone else, just because I have short hair. People have to realize my hair is short by choice. It's not that I bald or I don't grow hair. <laughs> my hair grows. It actually grows a lot. I cut my hair quite frequently i've had, honestly people think that i was born bald or something and i don't yeah. have hair like that's just ridiculous <laughs> to me i have hair i just i prefer short i've had hair for the longest time i used to relax my hair it's became so damaging and when i cut my hair i felt so liberated i really yeah. did i felt that i was no longer confined to society's views of what is beautiful right you know i didn't see myself through their lens but my own eyes and it's important to see yourself through your own eyes because the other lens could be tainted. Yeah. There could be a shadow that you're not seeing. 
So I really feel liberated having short hair. I've never felt so confident in my life. With, with short hair, you have nothing to hide. I literally can't hide anything. If I have a big pimple, you see it. If if I have a double chin, nothing wrong with that. You would see it. There's nothing to hide with short hair. So I feel as though this hair has been liberating. If I wanted to have hair, I could. Yeah. And I would still look good in hair for those of you that think that I wouldn't or whatever <laughs> you may think. But, you know, like I just... It's just hair. It's like yeah. accessory. You can take it off, put it on again, grow it, cut it. Maybe I'll cut all oh, with hair. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, that would be crazy. yeah. But right now, you look different with your uh, with your with your with your how you look. Yeah. With this, yeah. But this is like, yeah. Like I, you can do so much with having short hair. You can have like yeah. fashion scarves, something like this. Or I can have it up here too. Yeah. Can, my head, my head is really small. It's very hard for me to wear hats. Oh yeah. You know, I like oh your, I like the I like the shape of your head. It's like it's it's. But vertical. it's small. Like I I oh I have such a hard time finding hats that fit like sun hats. <laughs> you can see the rim. Like it just my head oh, yeah? my head is small. Like it, it looks big. I don't does it look big? <laughs> no no it looks slender. It looks long. Yeah, my it's head is like my head yeah. shape is small. I don't know if you like. Yeah. I don't know. My anyways, my head does not fit most hats. So these are my hats. When I want to feel like I'm wearing a hat, I wear this. When I okay. have a bad hair day, this is my hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Nova, we're down to the last one. What is your message to your Filipino fans? Has been so supportive with your journey, and we love you here. Just so you know, you have a <laughs> fan base here. So, what can you say to your Filipino fans? Mambu hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my darling. The support means a lot. It really does mean a lot. Although we're so far and I may not as be, I'm not as active as I am online as I used to just because I'm so busy and I'm just trying to work on my mental health because social media does really, it, it drains me at times. But I don't want you to think that your love does not go unnoticed. It really does. And I, and I appreciate it and I feel it. I really do. And I, and I just, I love you. I love you all back. And I cannot wait to go to Philippines one day when, you know, the universe permits, when God allows me to, when the world opens up, I would love to go to Philippines. It's one of my, it's on my bucket list. That's one of my go-to places. The, the crystal blue waters, the islands. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I will definitely come one day. Yeah. Very soon, I think. I'm definitely going to come as soon as I can travel because it's, again, it's, but on my bucket list, my best friend is Filipino and you are there too, so you can show yeah, me around. Yeah. But again, I just want to say thank you for the love and support. And you don't have to only support me, you can support other candidates as well. You know, you don't have to be the only one to shine or in order in order for you to exceed in life. We can all shine together. So support me, support your queen, support all the other queens, because at, at the end of the day, we're all queens. And although there's only one crown. That just mean we're not winners. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Lots of love and light to all of you. Okay. Thank you so much, my love. I'm so I glad know. it finally worked out. I, I just, know. I had to. Like, I like to keep my word. So I'm like, let me message him. And, you know, so thank you for being it's understanding okay. when I couldn't talk that last time because I honestly <laughs> could not talk at all. I, I, I was in so much pain. But thank you and i'm just glad it worked out and i hopefully we'll meet each other soon yes and again guys thank you so much for watching pageant talks with nova stevens she's so amazing and it has been the mm -hmm. lightest interview that i've done yeah. in the recent me too i had fun years. it's not like why should you win this year <laughs> like, oh my god how many times have to answer this question so thank you <laughs> You're welcome. And thank you for letting me know that you just really want this, like, a chill interview. And I'm sure my audience is going to have fun watching you. And we're having fun. And it's like a party yeah. in this pageant talk. So make That's sure it. to follow, like, and subscribe. And support Nova Stevens at her journey at Miss Universe, which is really coming soon. That's, like, barely two months away. And please oh continue God. to, like, yeah, I know. So pray for us. We're heavily invested at Miss Universe. I'm the designer Miss Belize. She's competing and they're going to be together and we're just one world 
one universe and let's love one another. So thank you one very piece. much. Yeah, and thank you, Nova Stevens. And I'll see you guys soon again for the next episode of Pageant Talk. So bye. Okay. Bye, Boo. Yay.